Hi, I'm Paul Foster, head chef at Mallory Court, and today I'm going to show you how to cook pork belly sous vide, the best way to cook it. Uh, the pork belly, what I've done, I've just taken it off the bone, and I'm going to cover it in salt. And now this is going to sit for um, 24 hours in the fridge. Uh, really important because it draws out a lot of unnecessary moisture, firms it up through osmosis, also seasons it as well. So this is a uh, pork belly that I did yesterday. As you can see, it's firmed up. A lot of moisture has come from the pork. So what I'd need to do now, wash off all this excess salt, pat it really nice and dry, and then we're going to vacuum pack it. OK, so whilst the pork belly is cooking, 75 degrees, 12 hours, we've got plenty of time to get the next stages ready. Uh, so the first stage uh, is Roscoff onions, uh, which I'm going to sous vide and then cook in the microwave. Peel them but keep the, keep the root on. Just straight into um, a sous vide bag. Then into there, a good knob of butter, a little pinch of sea salt. I'm going to vacuum pack these, compress them fully and then microwave them. They're only going to take about three to four minutes, depending on their size. Um, what's so important about the, the vacuum packing process, it keeps all that steam, all that moisture and all that flavour in there as well, so we're not losing it in any, any water. OK, so uh, the next onion uh, texture that's on the plate, you're going to do some beautiful little shallot rings, uh, breadcrumbed, deep fried, so really nice and crispy. Not too thin, so I'd go about half a centimetre thick. And then we're going to do it in a classic pane, which is uh, flour, eggs with a touch of milk, and panko breadcrumbs as well. So that's the shallot rings there. I mean, lovely, crispy, nice, sweet flavour, and add a nice texture to the dish as well. Uh, I know it's quite a laborious job to do double podding raw peas, uh, but really worth it if you've got the time. And you wait in 12 hours for the pork belly, so you may as well. So straight into the bowl now with the peas. I'm going to make it into like a tartar dressing. Um, so just a good quality dill pickle gherkin. And then some shallot as well. You notice I've kept the gherkin and the shallot in the corner of the bowl. Really important, if I mix that up too early, what's going to happen, the acidity is going to start to discolour and uh, break down the peas. So uh, last minute when I'm about to serve the dish, I'm going to add the Dijon mustard dressing, stir it all up, and then it's perfect to go. OK, so this is the finished product of the, uh, the pork belly. As you can see, this is totally cooked now. Salted 24 hours, cooked for 12 hours, 75 degrees, and then pressed. So you can see that it's really nice and firm. So I'm just going to open the bag and cut straight through the middle of the pork as well. And I'll show you how, uh, how incredible this is and the reasons why it's so important to cook it sous vide. So here you're, you've got a beautiful ratio, uh, probably about nearly 50-50 of fat to meat, which is really important. Uh, the best thing about when you sous vide pork belly, the fat stays there, the fat crisps up, but what it does, it bursts in your mouth. So you get this lovely uh, lubricant of the fat and it breaks down perfectly. So I'm just going to cut one nice portion off and then just remove that skin on the top. So what I'm left with is just meat, fat, meat, fat, meat, fat. It's almost like a milfoy of uh, pork and fat. OK, so the Roscoff onions, I've just let these sit and they're perfectly cooked now. Open them up. So again, important you let them cool in the bag because that way the steam moisture flavour is not escaping. So the next stage for this onion, just a blowtorch the top, which is just going to caramelise just the lip of the onion, then I'm going to break it down into its shells and then put it through the emulsion with the grillot onions. So in a saucepan, some uh, butter and then just a small amount of water. Okay, so grillot onions straight into the emulsion. So for the pork belly, tiny bit of uh, sunflower oil in the pan and the pork belly flat side down. Not trying to fry it too hard. So what you get is a lovely even caramelisation and it's going to heat through all the way as well. So the grillots, you see uh, the emulsion's gone down to a lovely thick coating emulsion now so the vegetables are glossy. And just add these beautiful uh, Roscoff onions. So pork belly now, you can see it's developed a colour on the outside. Roughly two minutes aside and that, the heat will penetrate and that's all it needs. Okay. The pork belly's ready now so I'm just going to lift it off onto a small tray ready to serve. 
Okay, so it's the last hot item for the dish. Just need to do these uh, shallot rings. They're gonna take about 30 to 45 seconds in a hot uh, fryer at around uh, 180, 190 degrees. So the onion rings are fried and seasoned and lovely and crispy. And now I'm ready to start assembling the dish. And the best thing about this is I'm not adding any meaty sauce, no veal base, no chicken base sauce. I'm going to use this, this emulsion from the pan, which has got all that lovely onion flavour. So the dish stays really light. It's not going to be heavy or tacky. So here you have it. This is the sous vide pork belly with a beautiful pita tartare and then lots of different lovely summer onions.